you can feel. I mean, the classic line in a math class is, why do we need to know this? And if you can teach out of a textbook without the kids ever asking that, then I have no problem with you using a textbook. Um, because for me, the goal in teaching math is to find the motivation. Uh, because you need it for somewhere, for, uh, for something else, or because it is coming out of the problem itself. Because you got interested in some object, you got interested in a circle, you got interested in two dimensions or four dimensions or, or tessellations or whatever, and you asked some question, you were playing with it and you were like, oh, I noticed that I can't use regular pentagons to, to tile, you know, I can't make a tessellation out of them. I wonder why that is. But as soon as you have people asking, well, why are we doing this and do we have to do this? That's a sign that you are not finding your motivation. The, and, and that, if you were not motivating the subject, um, there's no reason to do it, I think. Uh, I, you're, you're only teaching people not to like it. It's, uh, I guess my metaphor is, it's like math is somehow a play, you know? And, and we're, we're saying to kids, you need to memorize these lines. And for them, in the beginning, they're just memorizing lines in another language. It's just a bunch of meaningless things that they've been told they have to memorize. For us, who know the mathematics, we're like, no, 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 don't you see? This character needs to move over there. Like, this, this has to happen for a reason. And until we have that reason, until we have that motive, it's not going to be something that is going to be fun, and it's not going to be something that makes sense. And so, yeah.